Oh yeah, welcome. We're translating this beautiful session for yeah. you guys. We surprisingly realized there's obviously technical issues. Funny enough. But this is not a problem at all. We are prepared for this. Do we have sound? Microphones. There's definitely relay. It's not very pretty up here in the booth yet. All right, this works without power. That's great to see. Okay, we'll do Jeopardy Unplugged. So while over there the technicians are doing their best and they're doing the making the complicated communication system to work, we'll explain the basics for you guys. Who knows nothing about Jeopardy? Okay, let your neighbors explain what to you what it does or how it works. We will, as usual, play three pre-rounds and the winners of these three pre-rounds will play the final round and then after that we will um, play a final for great prizes. Who can guess what's the main prize in this year? What could be the main prize this year? A thing to test whether or not there is power going through the wall. I don't know the proper English term. As a second prize, we might have the only one, cardio. So phase tester is the word that we were looking for. This is the first prize. If you already have the second prize, you can take home 50 USB-C cables instead. And you can be the king in your hacker space in the next uh, 10 years, basically. You're going to use them. It's up and coming. It's like cutting-edge technology. Generally, if you if you get enough points, you might be getting a USB-C cable. Who knows? If you don't get one, um, I have the makers of the Cardio Badge told me that in Cardio Village in Hall 2, you can buy USB-C cables. We have a few that are left over. I have no idea what's this in the background. All right, so we're going to play rounds with different categories. You can mentally prepare for the first round. You can see on the board if people knew how their computer worked. It's okay, they just upgraded to Windows 10 because support is running out. And I think the second, the second desktop is not configured yet. So the first round is going to be about maritime autonomous robots in water, about things that have to do with time zones and public holidays, and things that are somewhat deprecated and about electric mobility. On that note, hoverboards are so yesterday. Like, they're so gone by, like, seriously. <laughs> it's when you could leave things out. And that's always good, because, you know, unnecessary technique is like completely in the way. Let's see how long these will last. This can only go wrong, like seriously, guys. So this is why I have my, uh, my pulse measure. I would like to... Um, your Windows looks really funny, Seg. I think he switched to Linux because the Windows just couldn't get working. Um, okay, great. So, on the package of these things, you're risking um, accidents and death. So, should I fall over and die during the show, um, pass on hello to my client that I'm not allowed to come with the e-scooter because I'm too important for the project. 
um, should this watch indicate that I'm dead, um, it's just he should continue. I, I'm, I'm dispensable. All right, so we're going to start um, selecting candidates. Please um, put this balloon into the crowd. That worked great. Okay, so I think the people in the first row can actually get up for this. Like, seriously, guys. No, you cannot help me. You can, like, help distributing these balloons now, please. The throwing of balloons is working great. If you're not sitting in this hall right now, it's like half of them are on the stage. Um, so before the Jeopardy music hasn't started yet, nothing has started. This is the journey to Jeopardy, um, and you're along for the ride. Welcome. People in the audience are starting to whistling the Jeopardy music. Please do not confuse me. Of course, we have more than cardio badges and USB cables. Like, there's also prices from the binary kitchen. You can get, like, soldering kits, and there is important literature on digital courage for youngsters and people who kept young. Um, there are stickers, the usual shit, you know. And obviously, super important. An espionage pair of glasses, if I wear them, I think the chances of me running into an accident are increasing by the second. I can see you, but only like very little. This looks great. This looks really great. We're currently seeing a terminal window where um, programs are being pseudo-killed. Oh, but now we can hear the sound of the Jeopardy music, so something seems to be going right. That's an improvement. Now they should be done. Almost worked, didn't it? Do we still have anything to mention? Oh, yes, you defragmented quite well. Um, we have another thing that we should mention. I can, I can do it without you guys, right? Um, if you find things, I think currently people are looking for their wallets. Please bring them to the lost and found. This is actually a serious thing that we're talking about. Bring anything that you find to the lost and found. Um, we're all honest people here. Just take out the money as like a, you know, finders keepers thing and, and, and then bring the wallet to the lost and found at least. And the owner will be thankful. All right, so... I still have a pulse. Pulse, that makes me feel relief. It's a bit more high than usual. I don't think we're going to make this work tonight. However, we're now CDing into a folder. Great. So we're getting there. I can just talk about the Cardio Village once again and the assembly. In Hall 2, we have an assembly if you have your cardio on you. If you have question, you want to build something, you want to do crazy things with it, you want to show what you did, come over. We had a few cool hacks that, we already see, uh, that we've already seen. Also, we have a great VR assembly where we do virtual reality shit. It's very sexy. Come over. The balloons are still floating in the crowd. Okay, so we can see OFTYMW. But I think that people might not understand what I'm talking about here. These camera angels are really good. They're following me. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, now we're getting USB. Who is 
at Hacker Jeopardy for the first time. All right, maybe to explain this, the technique things that we talk to here are a microcontroller system that are based on, I unfortunately didn't catch which microcontroller this is based on, but one of them. Um, so it is, it's quite, so there's a processor that has a RAM that has bridges that you have to, but it, it was quite reliable in the past 20 years. So um, it's, it's surprising that it's not working this time around. I heard somebody laughing. What was that about? I think that was sick. I think I'm going to go home. Nothing works. I don't want to anymore. Guys, please. So where are, we, where, where are we stuck now? Where does it fail? Well, we don't have display and we don't have Ethernet. Ethernet is optional. Oh my God. Woo Big rounds of applause. We're finally seeing a rather 90s display of a board game translated into computer. Um, but this causes enthusiasm amongst the crowd. Okay, so candidates in the first round can please now grab one of those balloons. If you want to be a candidate, grab one. If you don't want to be, pass it on. And four people are going to come up on stage for the first round and to participate in the game about blood and honor in the very first round, in the last game of this year. And if they continue to schedule us for uh, 10 to 1 uh, a.m., I'm not so sure this is going to go any better next year. So congratulations. We have our first candidate, balloon number, oh, no, orange balloon. Come over here. Take the first seat. There should be three more balloons in the crowd. There might be some that are stolen by trolls, but it's okay. We have more. We're prepared for this. We have candidates and also there is one balloon missing still. But Zip said that we've just lost. We're only doing three candidates now? Well, we'll see. But well, we're doing four candidates now. What now? Oh, well, okay, so the fourth we don't... Okay, great. Now we have four candidates, but once again, this technicality is not set up for four. This is great. It's going wonderful again. What, we, we, because of the board? What? But this, that must be like a short fix. But this is your area of expertise. I, I don't know how to cross that threshold. <laughs> Does it light up? Very weakly, though. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's great. Now we have nothing. Uh, what did you do? What you plug? You took the plug? What the heck? Oh, oh, we're back. We're back. Oh my God. People nearly had heart attacks. Well, that was easy. It's not made for disabled people, this stage. All right. Impossible. So we have four buzzers, correct, Zach? This chair does not exist. <laughs> well, you know this is Chaos Communication Congress. We're clearly putting the chaos in Congress right now. So the way this works is you're going to see the answers. You're going to have to buzzer. And your task... And starting in round two, we're going to know have double jeopardies. We'll explain what they are like then. You're going to have to ask a question that fits to the answer that is being displayed. Did you understand the concept? Did everybody hear the rules? Great. We sometimes are quite okay, depending on your answer, but this changes. So who does not ask is dumb, which is a reference to the German intro song to the Sesame Street. 
You know the procedure. You uh, please, for once, uh, hit the buzzer and say your nickname into the microphone. Tenish, I think, was the first contestant's name. Henish, Henish. Sorry, guys. Second one is Pierman. Queen of beer. Third one is Queen of Beer. That one, no problem to understand. <laughs> Toby. And the fourth one is Toby. Dear children who are watching, we're not promoting alcohol. There's other gateway drugs. Cannabis is a lot more healthy. All right, this was a great start. At any given time, I can play the music. Oh, we're ready? Well, if it's up to me, then yes. I mean, it's only like, what, 10 minutes after? Well, when do we start? Now. Nah, well, now. All right, I think this counts now. All right. First, Perman may choose a category and you can choose wherever you want to, so you don't have to start at 100. Did you understand the categories? Maritime, time zones, uh, public holidays, deprecated and e-auto or electric cars, electric vehicles, basically. So I'll take 100 deprecated. A protocol that um, was dis because, because of Poodle in 2014. And someone says TLS, um, which was not a question. And the question is, what is SSL? Uh, we will let it count, but uh, what we were looking for was actually SSL V3. <laughs> but yeah, we'll let it count, but just for now. In the future, we won't. <laughs> I'll take 200. The first um, really common cryptographic hash function that um, could be actually <laughs> that could actually be practi practically created. What was MD5 or what is MD5? Public holidays 100. 4th of May. This is actually Star Wars Day. What is Star Wars Day? May the 4th be with you. We think it's quite easy, actually. March 14th. What's Pi Day? Yes, 159826. <laughs> uh, public holidays. What's World Towel Day? Can we get the original term? Towel Day, May 25th. <laughs> okay, Henning, se Henning seems to be on a roll. <laughs> Just to clarify, even if someone chooses, everyone may buzzer in. And this is not Connect 4. <laughs> Public holidays 400. Mang Day, Chao Flux, Sang Tips Day, Mojo Day, Disco Flux, Xie Day. What are these public holidays? <laughs> Lady Discord will not like it. Nothing? Why are there more than five? And less than 23? 
macht da keinen Sinn. Nee. Because <laughs> numbers. Wer weiß es? Does anyone know? Maybe in the audience? These are the public holidays of the Discordian calendar. <laughs> okay, well, nobody. Now we need random. Please be more economical with the USB cables. Queen of B. Sorry, R is not there anymore. Now you're the Queen of Bees. I'll take public holidays for 500. Last Friday of July. This is the day in which we remember, remember people that do good stuff in society, that are there when you need them, that are sitting in the, um, that are standing in the server room. So this is Sis Admin Day, and my colleague actually knew this. I did. A big change for those days. <laughs> okay, someone is bringing some sort of device, and now we do not have anything anymore. We have changed something, for the worse, obviously. What to do? Maybe we can do that between the rounds, and not during. Yes, we're back. <laughs> I'll take time zones for a hundred. Yes, I'll take last Sunday in March. Change. Winter, summer. When's the change between winter and summertime? Still. We'll get rid of it soon in Germany, maybe, possibly. Within days, the EU will agree on something. Time zones 200. Next to CET, there's also A, BST, IST, WAT, WEST, and WST. What time zones have summertime? There's a couple more, actually. But it's not wrong. Because it doesn't state that it's an exhaustive list. Willst du noch jemand anderes versuchen? Anyone have an idea here? Time zones in Europe? These are all the zones that have UTC plus one. So we need another randomizer. And this randomizer is choosing Heinrich. Heinrich? Sorry. Maritime 100. AUV. In the context, autonomous maritime robots. What's an autonomous sub subwater sub vehicle, submarine vehicle? Yeah. We'll take time zones 300. 31st December 2016, 2359, 60 UTC. When was the last um, second that is introduced within years? Leap, leap second. Let's take side time zones for 400. What do you see? What's the Gato time zone? I don't know who it was, who it was that made this weird shape, but let's go for E Auto 100. What's the Cybertruck? Now this is only an early prototype. But he has no sprung in the scheibe. You can do it. At least the glass, glass isn't broken, I guess. 
the pressure is um, increasing the same way of one atmosphere. What happens every 10 meters when deep diving, scuba diving? Auto 200. This is what you call getting energy back when braking. <laughs> We're looking for a specific term. It's not wrong, but it's not, but it's quite cheap. There is a term. Do you, are you all ta still ta driving diesel? Recuperation is the word. So this is a USB-C loading cable for your Tesla? Charging cable? I did not want to promote Tesla. I'm sure German car makers will start making e-cars within the next 100 years. Maritime 300. Sonar. Tobi. Was ist die Erkundung von der Umgebung mit Fallwellen? What is exploring the environment using um, sound waves? Wir hätten uns ein Expansionsradar. Was? Radar. Was ist Radar? Maybe. What is not radar? He's trying not to do what we wanted from him. Should we let this slide? Yes. Who knows what it means? Like how this abbreviation is actually constituted. Sound navigation and ranging is the abbreviation. Choose something else. E autos 300. This is a chemical formula. Um, something more important for electric vehicles. What's lith lithium, which you need for batteries? Why are you starting at the top? You're very boring. E autos 400. Lidar. What's lidar? Lidar? Again, you want to know what this means? Well, I don't know actually. But this is using laser. Um. Um. Don't know. Pass. Maybe someone else knows. Falsch. That's wrong. I don't understand anything that he answers. He said he didn't know. Because he said that's that with lasers. That's the one with lasers. No one wants laser. to try the laser, laser thing. What is the laser thing? Yeah, what's this cable? Who was that? I have shown. I have no idea what was just said. I did not understand anything. Apparently, it's light detection and ranging. Random is Toby. E autos for five hundred. We're looking at a device, which is not a radar. It's not a charging cable. The, the opposite of a charging cable, but not quite. It's a device that fire trucks are using, firemen, because e -car, electric vehicles have something, have something other cars don't have and people are afraid of it because it might actually 
<laughs> because it might actually break out into flames. And someone said batteries, but apparently this is not a battery. So what is this? Hello? Yeah. This is something that you put into a battery. A piercing applicator that is designed to put out all kinds of smoldering fires. <laughs> Pyramid, you can choose something. Deprecated. 300. This is how we called computers on the internet before. What's IPv4? Who still knows IPv4? Who still has it at home? Oh, you should update. It won't be supported for a long time anymore. 20, 30 years tops. Deprecated 400. The idea you could keep a crypto you, a crypto would be safe if you keep it um, secret, which is called security by obscurity. <laughs> this idea is deprecated, but unfortunately that doesn't mean that it's not used anymore. And this, I will say hello to the Bluetooth hotel industry. Deprecated 500. A C function that reads a string without um, limiting the length and therefore actually is asking for buffer overflows. You should have programmed C, coded C before. <laughs> I admit it's from the past. The whole language is deprecated. Now we use Node.js and stuff like that. No one knows the C function that reads strings. Just look at CVEs 20 years ago. I need cables, cords. Both ScanF and GetS. GetF. Get S, get F, and scan F all do that. Which sounds like a great idea. <laughs> if anyone gets hit, please call Surge. 112. Now, Toby, I'll take time zones for 500. This country has time zone UTC plus 530. What's Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabien hat er gesagt. Saudi Arabien, glaube ich nicht, nein. India? India. Ich denke, es India. Was ist die Zeitzone in Sri Lanka? What's Sri Lanka? Das Sri Lanka, richtig. Mm. Genau. Also Indien und Sri Lanka haben eine schöne halbe Stunde. Yeah. Again, your translator is new. Du darfst dir was aussuchen. You can choose something. So there's responsibility. With, uh, with answers come high responsibility. This famous wreck was found in 1986 by Jason and Jason Jr. There's so many famous wrecks. Where were they in 1986? <laughs> Someone is trying to find a, an, a question that I assume it's the Titanic. Now let's make it a question. <laughs> Apparently it's m complicated to ask a question. How do you ask a question? Which wreck was... What? <laughs> Just ask a question for a ship. What's Titanic? Yes. <laughs> Although, in general, we kind of like you asking more original questions than what is. So kudos for the 
try, but last question. We have a tie between Toby and Hennig for now. And we don't know what we'll do if the tie doesn't break. We don't have a tiebreaker usually, so one of Toby and Hennig needs to answer. These clear winner of an online questionnaire for the name of a research ship was only used for an autonomous submarine afterwards. Ah. What's Boaty McBoatface exactly? Okay, this was Toby. Thank you, Toby, that you made sure that we do not have to find out how to bake a tie. We have a clear winner, which is Toby. Uh, please come to the final round that we will be able to play in three rounds. All of the other candidates, please don't be sad because you will get a nice kitchen um, kit for playing around with it. This is your consolation prize. You can play around with it and just maybe Queen of B. And for Pirmin, we have an, uh, an Icon Solder starter kit for soldering. Who still uses paper books? I have one for you, which is great. Maybe the Digital Courage book from Padeloon. That's amazing. I really like if people still read. So I'll just make some time for a little bit. Just, you know, fill some time, talk a little bit. We need the balloons again. Where are they? Maybe you can get a balloon. I cannot get something. Stay there. We have autonomous segways. You know what to do. There's more balloon throwing on the ground in front of the first row. Can you please get a little bit of air out of the balloon so that I can throw this further? I will keep this balloon and I will pass it to the back room and see what happens. The audience is erupting into cheers because no, there's no entertainment from stage right now. This is what it's like, people, at 1.30 at CCC. Somebody in silver is coming up on stage. A ghost from the past. The older people of you in the crowd might remember. Fefe is back. Yeah, Aluburka. Aluminium Burka is back. Can we have the ventilator back, please? Oh, the fan, yes, sorry. Please continue throwing the balloons. In the next round, we're going to play on the knowledge scopes of... It's going to be about... Units. Units, calculations, dollars to square joule and shit like that, super simple. There's going to be hacking, like types of attack and graphical display of that. 3D printing. If you've seen this hyper new modern thing that's going to come in the next few years. So if any of you has dealt with 3D printing, there's going to be astronomy in the technical sense and a little bit of Unix basic knowledge, just to be prepared. Somebody took the balloon just now. That was quite brave. Uh, but the clock's still counting. Like, come on. Let's see some balloons flying around. The, bal the music hasn't even started yet. I'll, I'll see what's happening right now. Oh, we have music.
Kann man das hier lauter machen? Can we make this music play a little louder, please? Something should be happening now. Should be seeing something. <laughs> okay, we're back to seeing two terminals and there's relay sound on the, on the headphones right now. It's beautiful in the booth. <laughs> this is a bit non-great. Sick, what am I supposed to do now? Do I have to go again, rambling on? Only four times of me singing, really. Ah, oh, some people who used to be copycats remember now. There's two per round. If I did not miscalculate, we're doing right. All right. We're missing a buzzer? Really? Where's the fourth buzzer? Aluminium burger, can you please press the buzzer? Press the buzzer, please. There we go. All right, where are the balloons? People with balloons, come to the stage, please. But I know you already. Please, that does not count. He caught it, really? Really? Okay, there's stairs. You can also like take the long way up, but... He wants to walk past the laptop with all the solutions. But there is, it doesn't exist. We clearly know all the questions uh, from our brain, like by heart. Nah, sorry, nothing difficult. Don't be worried. Don't be afraid. All of this should be super simple. Everybody should know this. Come on, take a seat. There's a chair. It's not there for nothing. Yes, sit down. I mean, we can exchange this. There's enough chairs in the audience. Push the buzzer. Put the, your name in. Wurzellos. Mit V. So the first name is Vox. L. Voxel. S. Voxelus. That wasn't that hard. What's the word? Dura. Second player is Dura. Da gibt's so copyright Sachen. Den Hasen hatten wir doch schon mal. I think we had this bunny up on stage before. And the third player is V. Mana worm. Mana worm. In English, that would pre this pro technically be pronounced mana wire, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, randomized, we're going to pick the starter. I'm going to take telescope fi 500. Oof. Stakes are being raised. Okay, now we have double jeopardies. So the right to choose, it does actually matter. So if you get to a square that has double jeopardy, you're the sole person that can answer this, and you get double points. So choosing a category and at which level actually matters now. You can influence the game to your own advantages. Salt. I mean, all the other categories might have helped to this one, but you know. What telescope is this? It is not the salt telescope, as in salting things. This was a tactical question I asked. I see this very untactical, but okay. Maybe it helps with the others, but where, where are the astronomers? Who knows this telescope? Something is being screamed in from the audience. South African Large Telescope is the question that we were asking for. What is the South African Large Telescope? So the Aluminium Burka now can have a choice of category. Everything porridge 400. <laughs> In German, it's kind of a word play because it's about units, but it's also kind of the same. 
She reached double jeopardy, so the question is how much uh, do we want to put in? So she, we're putting in uh, 200. Two, five, six, TBSP, so tablespoons. 256 tablespoons. Well, I mean, you have to answer, but my recommendation is to uh, take a guess and based on TBSP you could take the country and you could understand like, kind of 256 are like a clear cut unit in that country I mean we take a thousand like, uh, but they take this weird kind of thing these imperialists I think it's something like three liters, a little bit above three liters, but we can't really help that much, can we? I think, say something, say something beautiful empirical. If you don't know, we can like open this up to the public, but like take a wild guess. I'm going to pass. Something, something, if you don't say anything is wrong, it can't be worse than that. This was not a question. That's a bit sad, so this uh, question is now open to the public. Translator booth already knows. What is a foot? Great try, my friend. Not happening. What is a foot? Really? Have you ever put tablespoons into your own height? It's not what they're saying on stage. This is me being outraged at what they're suggesting. So if you take 256 tablespoons next to one another, that would come up to one foot. That's a creative way of seeing this. I'd never... You no, know, definitely. No, that is not correct. Anybody got an idea? What is a gallon? The audience screamed it loud enough for the people on stage to understand. <laughs> I will only uh, fill my tank with tablespoons now. Okay, so we're going to take 3D printing for 300. 400. 3D printing 400. What is a standard MIMA step motor? The NEMA step motor. It's a standard step motor. You may continue. 3D printing 200. What is a nozzle where the filament is coming out when you're 3D printing. Well, yes. I mean, somebody's in secret printing 3D. You know that's forbidden in Germany, that kind of high-tech stuff. In this format, um, what is G-code was the question to the answer that I did not have time enough to translate because they were too quick to respond to it on stage. If you manage one whole row, you will get a USB cable. Uh, what is warping? What is warping? And the Enterprise is flying with that. 3D printing 500, please. Liberator. Who was laughing out in the audience? This is not funny. In the context of 3D printing, who or, and or what is the liberator? The dark force of the 3D printing sphere. Nobody dares. Whoever laughed so loud? I think Dura is laughing, but... 
What's the service called where I can generate a personalized vibrator? Would be great if that was the name of it, but please do not use the liberator as a vibrator. That's all I can recommend. That could really backfire. Don't recommend it. Does anyone know? BND, did you uh, take a videotape of that? So what is the first 3D printed gun? There's a lot of legal weapons that you can 3D print if you want to. But what's that 3D service called? You probably know. So we're going to uh, randomly select Voxelos. We're going back to um, the Unity Porridge. 0 0.0001157 Hertz. Commonly known as... You can count up from the seconds. Does that... No, it should be like 86 something thousand. I mean, I could try to help with the calculation. Are those kind of 86,000 seconds? Is that true? Yeah, no, possibly. Unfortunately not. It's one day. Alu Burker is taking the board back. Hacking 100. Hacking 100. We can see this flow chart. What kind of attack are we seeing here? What is a crypto locker? What is ransomware? Yeah, that was correct, but 0 0.2, that's that's really not a lot of money. This is it's not worth it. I think that was when the when the when the return was better. Hacking 200. What is a bug bounty? A lot more honest than Crypto Trojan Horses. The ethical hotline is going to continue guessing. Def for 100. Though the name... What is, despite the name, uh, there is no nulls, what is Def null? Def 200. I mean, the others could have known this. What is deaf you random? Um, there's always a coincidence, and then the answer went away again. Deaf for 300. This device would was named after um, devices that were used to uh, transmit written things um, for a long distance. The rest of you, please don't fall asleep. You've, you've reached the 23. Everyone else may now start. Hacking for 300. Hacking for 300? What is a Zin float attack? <laughs> kind of like denial of service, yes, exactly. <laughs> But that's almost deprecated. Now we have different attacks. Let's do DEF 400. Although there's no folders on here, every time you actually you do a write access, you get NOS PC. And it needs to be some sort of slash DEF. I'm not sure what you need this for. Often or sometimes or ever. Because I actually have a hard drive for this, but... Maybe you want to just guess. <laughs> Didn't work so well before. Who knows this? Def zero is wrong. Def full is right. 
whoever had the full, please, please take a cord, a cable. Ah, uh, Duracell is choosing something. Def 500. Double Jeopardy. Naja, alles ist minus 900. <laughs> Everything is minus 900. Can I do minus 900? Oh, it's of the value of the um, field, not yours. This is where under Linux King Bluetooth, the zero lives. <laughs> it doesn't make more sense in German, so I'm sorry. I do not understand the question in German. I've heard more modern smartphones have this. It's supposed to be more. It's supposed to be more in fashion soon. This is very tragic. There's um, self-help groups for people that that are called Heinrich. <laughs> I'm still thinking. I'm still trying to find out how much time I have left. Um. <laughs> uh, they started another timer, I guess. A uh, slower one? Or maybe it's just quieter and Was feels slower? What do I find at slash def slash? BT. BT. Falsch. CMD. C C M D. B was already wrong. Who knows this? What's in slash slash dash slash def H C I zero? You can continue. But you should take a look at Bluetooth. It's amazing. <laughs> Another great picture of an exploit or an attack. What's responsible disclosure? Very important. All of us are doing it all the time. Please be slower. It's mana worm. It's too unicolor. Um, unfortunately, someone is too slow, so they were advised to click faster. <laughs> and the cable is longer to the buzzer, so that might be the problem. It's not the speed of light within fiber. I'll try hacking 500. This looks complicated. This is a damn it. Denial of service. Denial of service. Denial of. No, they're installing rats. What's a worm? Nah. A worm does not install a rat. <laughs> but let's be neutral. I don't manage to get the exception, Dura. so I don't uh, know. Dura has another try. This is... Chain hacking. What is chain hacking? Chain hacking. Chain, so über Vokalüfter, sehr gut. Chain hacking. Also ist nicht der üblich Begriff dafür. So chain hacking is not the usual <laughs> term for this? We can't get rid of these hackers. In this case, it's Mana Worm. Aluburka now has a fan, so they should be more successful now. Yeah, that's... Uh, Hacking. Steck das Jeopardy Board ab, das brauchen wir nicht mehr. 
pull out the plug of the Jeopardy board. Didn't you have so many extension cords? Okay, someone fetches something. It can only take hours to get this. So, uh, Alubuker, can you choose a category? Is there still a double Jeopardy? So, no, there isn't. Just choose one. You can probably uh, plug out bits. 200 units, 200. One fortnight. It's a long time interval, many days. Was ist ein Government Shutdown? Ein was? Government what? Shutdown. What is a Government Shutdown? <laughs> what? Government Shutdown? No, they don't only take for, uh, a fortnight, right? The okay, no minus. Yeah, two weeks, right. One to the back, please. So, randomness, Jesus, Dura. Change the score, please. Let's take units 500. 500? Oh, that's a unit of area. Just for con avoiding confusion with volume and length. Some hints. That's a pretty small area, but it's larger than a football field. What is this? Saarland? We don't want to say that Saarland is a small uh, state, but it's the smallest, right? So you can continue. Units 300, please. No one likes telescopes. 0,7 irgendwas foot pounds. Point 0.7 foot pounds. That's exactly the right value. What's a newton meter? What's a newton meter? You multiplied. It's not a newton meter. A newton meter is correct. Yeah, yeah. It's correct. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can calculate that. Yeah, one joule. Sorry, dafür. Damit bist du aus dem miesen raus. Now you're positive. Um, Teleskope 200, bitte. Telescopes 200. That's gonna be fun. This category. The ELT. The ELT. What is the extremely large telescope? What did you say? Extremely large telescope. Extremely extreme. We're not in English class today. Telescope 300. This wasn't actually built. And it's no T in there, but. Not in the abbreviation, but it's the same type of the as the former one, the previous one. The L is again large. Is anyone courageous right now? I, uh, I already heard it. The overwhelmingly large telescope. Put it over there, the cable. So choose the last of the two. F telescopes 400, please. Da ist kein L drin. Das ist nicht large. Naja. It's not large. It's not small either. 
The M stands for meat. Das T nicht für 1000. The T doesn't stand for a thousand. <laughs> That's it's the thousand meter telescope. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a terameter telescope. <laughs> I have a theory why they didn't finish it. No, it's not. <laughs> what is the ten thousand meter telescope? <laughs> <laughs> you know how large telescopes are usually? Well, larger is always possible, right? <laughs> no, the number is smaller. What's the 10 meter telescope? <laughs> I think we'll just <laughs> take. <laughs> Give, what's this 3 meter telescope? Ja, und er hat 10 gezeigt. Ach so, 30 meter. What is the 30 meter telescope? Ja. Die Kategorie war voll toll. The category was really good. Wir haben noch eine. We still have one. One more, one more. Und wir öffnen die 100. We open the Ja. Was ist das? Very large telescope. What's the very large telescope? Yes. We have a very tight winner. Please stay near. We have a very close second place as well. Here's something from the binary kitchen nibble area. Another set. More sets or book from digi digital courage. Paper dead trees. One hamburger forced had to die for that. Aluboka maybe. Two nice books. Also something. Thanks for the binary kitchen. And on to the last round before the finals. Fefe was better. Since he started blogging, he doesn't have time to prepare anymore. A fourth candidate. Not only the first rows. So, I'll explain the categories. In, in the category plan planets, it'll be about planets and planets. In magic JavaScript, you'll need to know JavaScript internals. OTLRA are abbreviations. Markings are documents that are not meant for your eyes. Number codes are some number series that you have to interpret. Someone else comes with a balloon, that's going to be difficult. Okay, um, sit down. And we have again four brave candidates who are brave enough to go in front of the audience for a few stupid blink or, uh, electronics and a few books. You know the game, press a button, say your name. We have a music joiner. The next one? FJ. First, we need technik versagt, brauchen wir das. It's rendered. That's not so good. It's not so good. It's not so good. Congrats.
Ja. Ja. Nochmal. Okay, and again. RZD. Das ist Hacking. That is Hacking. Ein Gerät mit einer drehenden Achse für etwas völlig anderes zu verwenden, wie zum Beispiel eine drehende Achse. Ja, oh, schade. Ja, nee, er hat gedrückt. Aber wow, hätte es gefallen. Der hat Leadspeak im Namen. Ist Leadspeak in his name. Be aware of him. Okay. Ich habe keinen Puls mehr. Oh, my pulse is out. Ah, uh, uh, no. Ja, Dann? wir haben ein freies Board. Und der einzige, den der Zufall aussprechen kann, ist Bakubel. We have a free board, then the only name the random gen number generator can say is Bakubel, who takes magic JavaScript for 200. We want to know what that is evaluate for. What is an array? No. JavaScript-Experten. JavaScript-Experts. Ich muss das kurz mal in der Konsole ausprobieren. I have to try in the console for a moment. Was ist ein ja. Objekt? What is an object? Ein Objekt? Äh, nein. No. Also ich würde sagen, raten kann man das nicht, das wird man schon wissen. You can't really guess it, you Was have to know it. Ja. Was ist not a number? What is not a number? Nein, auch nicht. No. Sondern es kommt eine number raus. There will be a number as a result, namely. What is null? What is null? Zero? Yes. <laughs> okay, we should logically just take the next one because it shows how logical JavaScript is. But we'll take markings for 200. And we want to know what this means on a document. What is the abbreviation for top secret? Yes. You can download it from Snowden. Mar Marking 300. F-O-U-O. It's a bit below top secret. Doesn't even, you don't even have to bother looking at it. I uh, see you never looked in the, at the Snowden files in the top row. Is that possible? Nobody wants to try. Then we'll have to throw USB cables at the audience again. For official use only, so for everyone. Exactly. The random number generator will choose and Remember that there is double Jeopardy and um, magic JavaScript for 300. <laughs> Remember that the, the earlier one was zero, and now it's the other way around. So, one of the answers from earlier is true now. What is an array? No. <laughs> uh, was is not a number? What is not a number? Also not true. Was ist ein Objekt? What is an object? Ah, object yes. Object. That's true. Who, that knew someone. Who knew this? I'm very, very sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can choose something. Magic JavaScript for 400. Oh. No, not everything. <laughs> it's gonna be guessing between not a number and array. <laughs> I'm not sure you want to set that much. It's 400, so I'll set 200. Everyone who says Osno, oh, I want to know it from you then.
Also genau also bei so. einer normalen Programmiersprache so, uh, for normal programming language, I'd expect plus infinity, but for in JavaScript it's not a normal number, so can't be. So the problem is it's JavaScript. Uh, so so far you've been very good. For normal language, you'd expect this. What do we do you expect for non-normal language? There were in JavaScript there was the highest number, the highest integer you could destroy. Okay, I'm still thinking, but I just say, assuming that JavaScript is normal, what is plus infinity? And that's false. What is zero? No. What is one? That's the wrong direction. <laughs> Right. Mine's one is wrong, not the number is wrong. <laughs> Zero was halfway on the way to the right number, also not undefined. Minus infinity. What? <laughs> We searched for hours to look for, for the right argument for that. So if you don't pass any, then it's going to be minus infinity. So the implementation works like this. The, it starts with the works with the lowest number possible, minus infinity. So if you look for more numbers in there, if there's any bigger, then it replaces minus infinity. But if there are none, it just returns minus infinity. So we need random numbers. FJW. FJW. Magic JavaScript 100. True plus true. Was ist zwei? What's two? Correct. That was just the 100. Magic JavaScript 500. Or you, you like them, or you want to get them done. What's object? We already had that. Was ist ein Array? What's an array? Nein. No. Was is not a number? What is num not a number? Was is not a number? Nein, auch nicht. You're, just, you're just guessing, aren't you? You're, you're losing points like that. It's, it's about the f almost unique black cardio. The dark cardio. N not purchasable by money. Yeah, it's the empty string. Give that to the empty string, please. The randomness, the random number generator chooses cron. Planets 500. I'd also start with that. The planet is the thing in the box. The white thing in the middle is the star. A description would be fine. Name is a bonus. It's also not Sauron's eye. But you know where he got it from, Saren. Anyone? The first planet? The first what? The first exoplanet what? 
Genau, der erste optisch verifizierte, also der Correct. Fotografierte the first photographed exoplanet directly is relative, but but yeah, its name is Formelhaut B. Aber er kreist um Formelhaut. Wer will den Namen noch haben? Der ist ganz wichtig. Falls die uns mal besuchen kommen, the name is very important because if they're ever gonna visit us, we have to we have to greet them. Thank you. Sounds like they're um, they're dangerous aliens. Given that the name is Dagen, Dagen. Where is it? Da well, here, right? Well, he cheated, right? Random number generator chooses. Well, now we're no going to do markings 100. Die in der Regel mit anderen Klassifizierungsabkürzungen kommt, um zu signalisieren, dass es nicht für nicht US-Staatsbürger zulässig ist, das zu haben. Eine wunderbare Erklärung. What's the marking that says it's not for US citizens? Wofür auch immer das sinnvoll ist, ehrlich gesagt, aber gut. Whatever that's useful, but whatever. Okay, markings for 400. W. W. We don't want you to list them all, but we want to know the name. Listing them gives a bonus. I told you no one's going to know this, but you don't want to believe me. If they don't read the Snowden documents, it's not nice. The Snowden. Poor Snowden lives in Russia now because he brought the <laughs> documents up. But what are you doing just watching XKCD? The five, the five eyes. They are... Scheiße was right. Sagt man nicht, ne? Gut, der Zufall wählt Bakubel. Ich nehme Zahlencode 200. Ein Zahlencode. Number codes for 200 from Bakuda. Was ist die übliche Abkürzung? What is the usual abbreviation for lead speak or lead? Yes, that's correct. What about the points? Oh my god. We have an all negative board here with a tie between the two lowest rated ones. If you're all negative in the end, no one's gonna go into the final. So we uh, just have three, that's gonna be fine too. And uh, number codes for 300. Everything. Don't have much to do, so. That is not photoshopped. And I promise you. I believe it's also not humor, uh, just a bit, you know. We're only interested in the number and the, the, all the other stuff is not important, you can also ignore it. What I'm most interested in is figuring out why this guy has a broader flower with him. Um, so, so, the obvious guess would be that it's a number for 100 policemen, but what do they want to say as was it? I'll give a hint, it's also below there. We heard, heard it from the audience. They want to say that all colors are beautiful and engage for more color in in the uh, society. Or was it all cops are beautiful? I'm not sure. What did I do? It's okay. It's okay. Lamps are 
Colorful now. I just lifted this up. Not funny. We need a technician here. Is a a cap technician technician in the room? The Ren, uh, the queen. We choose Ron. Con. We take planets for 400. I'm sure that's much easier. <laughs> Who knows what the planet is called? We want to know the planet. What is Druidia? That's right. What is a woman called we just saw? Number codes for 100. What is the answer to the universe, uh, life, and so? Number codes 400. Nicht was is zehnmal. Not what is ten times. <laughs> when is what is the number code <laughs> for international V day? Whatever that's supposed to be. I also didn't understand it. So. We don't really know what this means. I don't really know it. So. It was right. Oh, it was right. What was it? When is the International V Day? In international uh, ah, okay. way of writing the date. A we? <laughs> okay. We day was the right answer. Just. Okay, you can continue. 500. What is the perfect number? Because if you reverse it, it's 37, and the binary code is the reverse of the binary is 37, so it's a perfect number. I'd give it a neutral. We are searching for a meaning. What is coded with this number? Not just some beautiful number. Do we need a jury? What is a perfect number? It is a perfect number, but it's about codes. We want to know the meaning. <laughs> it's, it doesn't, didn't just came up with it. Okay, I'd give it a neutral because it, it doesn't really fit the category. Okay. And the right answer was good luck when telegraphing. Planets for something. What planet is this? What is the Uranus? I was right. Plans for 100. What is the Venus? What is Pluto? That's right. Sure, Paul, who is in the Pluto is a planet fraction? Very good. Fight for the small ones in the universe. Okay, continue. Uh, can you explain for what what OTLA means? It means abbreviations of companies or something. Take 100. 
Yeah. What is international business machines? They built, they used to build computers. OTLI 200? What's the abbreviation for the European Space Agency? That's correct. OTLA 300? OTLA 300? Oh. Das muss man nicht wissen. You don't have to know that. But fear, panic and so on, we won't count that. Neither... So who really, who really knows that? You're... You're in the wrong room. I saw one hand back there. Software, Anwendung, Programme in der Industrie irgendwas, ja. Aber du hast kein schönes Leben gehabt, oder? Software applications program. But you didn't have a nice life, didn't you? Did you? Here, take your cable. Maybe take two. Maybe you need it. Random number generator. So planets, 300. What is the Earth? What's Kerbin? Dann. Correct. OTLA 400. What is the, the Allgemeine Rundfunk Deutschlands? That's wrong. What's the first German public channel? That's financed by your Taxes. Also das da hinten war ein bisschen besser, aber genau die Arbeitsgemeinschaft der Rundfunkanstalten in Deutschland. The working group of something in Germany. There's also the commercial stuff. So, two more questions. Choose a category. OTLA. For 500. EDK. EDK. When they f were founded, they were written like that. We want the name expanded. No? Einkaufs was? Genau, die Einkaufsgenossenschaft der Kolonialwarenhändler wurde zu EDK und aus EDK wurde dann EDK. So this EDK turned into EDK. So one more question. Marking for 500. Marking 500. I think we we'll, we don't say too much if we say that it's a NATO marking. So TS is already known. What's the abbreviation for confidential top secret? You need to think a little bit more galactical. I mean, it's the NATO. Cosmic Top Secret. Cosmic Top Secret. Yes, someone. So, Kron is slightly positive. So, they have a final ticket. So, you can stay. So, the... Yeah. <laughs>
<lacht> Let me doctor, I'm through. <lacht> so, more electronics for soldering. Can I have a cable? Not the soldering guy. Aber für den Mut noch Digital Courage Kugelschreiber zumindest. But some Digital Courage Pants. Austauschen ist immer gut. Gut. So. Finale. Finals. We need the winners from last year and the previous rounds. So he goes to place one. So, same rules as before. Hit the button and say your name. Der Manawe. M-A-N-A-W-Y-R-M. Mit dem A noch, bitte. Mana. Danke. Ach, Kron. Sehr schön. Ray, magst du kurz die... Nein, mache ich das? Hm? Python 3 sind... Python 3. Python 3. That's snippets from Python 3. Uh, and we want to know what they uh, output. Buzzwords. Are buzzwords that are very often used. SCDR are error outputs from different command line tools. Then there's GSMTLA. Acronyms from GSM, not only three letters. The last thing is memory technologies. There's pictures and we want to know the term. So we only have half an hour left or it will become very expensive for the CCC. So let's hurry. Maybe standard error 400 for the Jeopardy. Double Jeopardy. What's the program that could output this on standard error? What's ping? What does ping say? Good start. Standard error 200. Unable to negotiate. No What sagt SSH? What does SSH say? Yeah. If you configured it correctly and the other person did not. 300. What is curl? That's how curl looks while you're downloading words. We already know that. What does Nmap say? Nmap can't actually do something so dangerous for the whole range. A few years ago someone would have known this. Who knows that? Arsync. Too many files, or what do you mean? Masken, right. Something you can use to scan the whole internet in one. In one hour. There's still a lot of VNC servers without password. So, Toby, by r the random number generator. Buzzwords, 100. The only the only natural um, op um, opposite of 
natural dumbness, and the answer is artificial intelligence. What are cryptographic chains and data sets? Um, the answer is blockchain. So, GSM TLA for 100. GPRS. What is. No, no idea. <laughs> so, how many hands do you know that? Oh, a few. One try? I don't know what it, but I'll just guess. What is General Package Reduction Service? Uh, such a great guess. Close, but no. Should we give it a minus or neutral for the good guess? Okay, let's make it neutral. Someone else? Okay. Okay, no. Who knew yeah, General Package Radio Service, right? General Package Radio Service, yeah, that's right. Okay, you will have a lot of fun with this category. Um, I'll tell you now. Okay, that was an easy one. Okay, we'll choose uh, Cyril. STDR100. What does MKDR say? That was only the 100. Um, password 300. Uh, home devices, which are called that, are usually not that. What are smart devices? Right. You don't have to clap. Smart devices are very, very sad. The 400. Trans more transparent, more flexible, more faster. What is agile software development? That's true. GSM TLA for 200. EMI. EMI. What is the International Mobile Equipment Identifier? What is the International Mobile Equipment Identifier? Very good. I'll take everything back and say the opposite. 300. What is the Base Transceiver Station? What is the Base Transceiver Station? I'll never get rid of my USB cables that way if you know everything. The 400. <laughs> what is the three form factor? Microsim, Minisim. Third generation form factor. Third generation fourth factor, also known as Microsim. Dann willst du nicht eine 500 versuchen? Nee. <laughs> oh, did he? Did he get it right? Oh, oh, sorry. Take everything back. You do things I don't hear. Uh, I don't hear over here. So I'll take uh, two hundred. What is five point two five floppy? Uh, no. Ah, we still let it count. It was eight um, inches. How do you realize? How, how do you recognize it from the size? Yeah, that's that's correct. The size. Is Could also recognize from the position of the index lock, but size is good too. So you answered one's wrong and one's right. So, so 100. What is magnet? Band. Magnetic tape. Python 3 100. We want to know what the return is. What is 42? Right, what is 42? 
an Python program aus, das 42 or auf eine sehr einfache what does a Python program look like that returns 42 ja, in a very easy die way? Für 500. The passwords for 500. Oh. Oh. Alles. Alles. Alles? Everything. From the ancient Greek um, steering derived prefix used for the demonstration of your own inability. What is cyber? Right. We have the opinion that this was cyber. The Python 3 for 200. Was ist sieben? What's seven? Sieben ist richtig. That's correct. Wer hier hat 16 gedacht? Who thought 16? Oh, nicht potent. That's extra, not powers. Ich muss ja sagen, ich staune, dass ihr euch nach der Latech Kategorie letztes Mal wieder so eine Kategorie leistet, wenn ich dabei bin. I'm hey, surprised. Ich weiß schon, dass es jetzt schlecht, dass ich das jetzt sage. That you're having uh, such a category die, die after having Latech last time. 500, 500 Python 3. Oh. Du hast sie dir gewünscht. You ja. wished for it. Mein Cyberpeeps. My Cyber Peeps. Ich glaube, ihr habt länger durchgehalten als was auch immer das ist. Wir geben euch auch ein bisschen Zeit. Ob es mich gleich abschmeißt? Ja, bei dir piept's wohl. Ja, es piept schon. It already beeps. Will it? Stop working? Ja, nee, It stops stabilizing? Dass, wenn er auf der Bühne zu Tode kommt, wir den trotzdem Stream weiter zeigen dürfen. Aber erst wenn das Cardio nichts mehr zeigt. Jetzt piepsen beide. No, both beep. Ja? Habt ihr schon aufgegeben oder rechnet ihr noch? Balanciert gar nicht mehr. No, it doesn't balance at all. Jetzt sind es eher Rollschuhe. <lacht> Es wird auch warm, glaube ich. It's getting warm, I think. Nein. Also der spannende, spannendste Teil ist in Zeile 5. Was ist 23? Was? Was ist 23? Was ist, ist 23 ist korrekt. Lass mal noch ganz What's 23? Sagen, That's correct. Im Prinzip werden die schönen Zahlen in Listen verwandelt und damit in aufsummiert und wir haben eine tolle Quersummenfunktion mit den einzelnen Zahlen und die kommen dann hintereinander. Eigentlich ganz einfach, ne? Ich habe da einige Anmerkungen, das kommt dann im Kursreview. <lacht> I have some notes, comments on this. Die 400. We Was see us in Code Review. 400. Ich wollte dich gerade den Cent aus dem Bild schieben, aber... Was ist ARCAP? Was ist ARCAP? What is ARCAP? Das ist ein Programm, was ARCAP ausgibt, aber ja. Nee, 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 nee. ACAB, genau. Mit dem tollen Listenumdrehoperator, der intuitiv hier... With the intuitive list reverse operator. Das kann Problem für dich sein. Die Python 3 für 300? Python 3, 300, please. Es wird jetzt leichter. Ja. It's becoming easier. The others can also press. Der bekannte Reduce Operator. Was machst du mit deinen Fingern? Was ist What are you doing with your digits? Yeah, yeah. yeah 16. Wir shiften eine 1 zu 2 und dann shiften wir zweimal die 4 und dann haben wir 16. We shift once to 8, then to 16. No Python. Questions less. I might win if Bannerworm now gets a stroke. So, memory technology. Was ist noch streiten? What's. Ein was? Eine Lochkarte. Was ist eine Lochkarte? 
Ja. ja. Hatte doch gefragt gehabt, oder? Warum ich What's a punch card? Nein geschrieben? Why did someone say no? Er hat noch Streifen gesagt. Oh. He said punch tape. Karte we ah, ja. we ja, did we took the card on purpose. But ah. is it still okay? Sie yeah. So He isn't that old. I guess we have du darfst, ja. to Auf allow for this. Für 400. Memory technology is 400. Uh, was ist, uh, magnetic rope memory? What is magnetic rope memory? What's magnetic core memory? Yeah, <laughs> core memory. Yeah, that's correct. Kann man schon so machen und ist es halt unhandlich. Can do that, but that's not really <laughs> handy. Speichertechnologie für 500? Du bist fies. Also, Sek, du bist echt fies. Memory technology. Alles. Everything. Genau. Ähm. Was ist so äh, ein Speicher? Also da wird mit jetzt so äh, Daten angeregt und dann laufen die durch den, Kern, also durch den Draht durch und dann kommen, wenn die wir ausgelesen. Das genau kann. Ja. <lacht> Delay Light Memory? What's Delay Light Memory? Torsion Wire Delay Memory? What's Torsion Memory? Das wird da rein vibriert und läuft dann rum und wird immer wieder refreshed. That vibrates and reflashes. It can store one kilobit, apparently. Clifford, someone had that. So we're gonna play the last one as well. Edge. That's only available in Germany. The only connection that you can get with O2. Das ist zwar schönes Firmenbashing, aber ich würde es mal neutral werten. Also, ich bitte doch. <lacht> But it's correct. Ein, ein usb kabel er, genau. er hat doch eh schon eins. Der hat bestimmt schon genug. Was? Nein, Leute, also, hier. Ich, ich lass mal neutral, vielleicht kriegt es ja noch jemand hin, nee. um nicht zu expandieren. Maybe someone will do it. Will keiner. Endlich kann ich mal meine USB-Kabel loswerden. Ja, da kannst du loswerden. Wir müssen jetzt gleich noch das 100 pack verteilen. Dürfen wir nicht vergessen. Ja. So we have to give the 100 pack to someone. Does anyone know it? Da hinten ist ein, ein, eine Hand. Sehe eine Hand, bitte diese Hand mal laut und deutlich. Ja, dann. Ein Mikro erwartet. Ist da kein Mikro? Schade. No microphone? Pity. Das Mikro ist Nein. tot, was direkt vor ihm ist. The microphone is dead. Can someone switch it on? What is enhanced data rate for GPRS evolution? Who put that garbage there? Bringt aber leider hier niemand mehr Punkte. Das heißt, wir haben es überstanden. We did it. Congratulations to everyone who's still awake. We have a clear winner. Applause, please. I think it was deserved. So, big question to Manaworm. Do you want the black cardio or 50 USB-C cables? Do Du willst echt die USB und hast du schon ein Cardio? Du hast ein Cardio, du warst. I have a Cardio, I was at camp. So, five of these. Vier! Dein Hackerspace wird dir dankbar sein. Your Hackerspace will be thankful. And Cyril, who also played very well, gets the black Cardio.